was six, I started playing the violin at the Turnhour School of Music. We had to play an instrument at some point or like pick something up, like an extra hobby to do, which I mean, a lot of kids do nowadays. I think my journey begins when I was eight and I started playing piano then. Today I'm here to play piano, so for AXO, I'm accompanying him for Mozart's Violin Concerto Number no. 4, and that's why I'm here today for this national competition. Quincy was going to originally perform this solo. Everyone recognized the benefit of having an accompanist. Unfortunately, I don't believe we were given one, so I play piano. We were just able to get the music, and I was able and I took the opportunity to accompany my brother, Quincy. I was so happy that my brother decided to, to help me because I know he didn't have to. I feel like people enjoy seeing two brothers playing together. It's much easier to rehearse because we're in the same house. So, I mean, it's fun. Personally, when we practice, it's, it's not like chaotic, but uh, the twin vibes. It's a little bit like, no, I want to do this, no, I want to do that, and I'm right, he's also right, maybe, sometimes, but I'm more right. That's just a twin thing. Usually, when I have like a competition or something to prepare for, I mean, this is just really a recent thing, but you have to like, you have to kick up your practice by a lot, <laughs> because you, you're getting ready to, to play, and then you're going to be judged, so it's like, it's like you have to like elevate yourself and get yourself like mentally and physically ready to play. It does feel uncomfortable when you get up on that stage and then you're about to perform. The nerves are present to say the least. But then once you get through it, um, it's like a wave of relief. You feel very, very like happy. 